G'day guys and welcome to the Centre Bounce where today we'll be talking about Ben Mackay moving across from the North Melbourne Kangaroos to the Essendon Bombers. This is the watch list. Ben Mackay is a 25 year old 202 centimetre 104 kilogram key defender who has played 71 games for his career for the North Melbourne Football Club, making his debut in round 23 of 2017. Yes, the very last game of 2017, and therefore the only game that he played in 2017. He has had a very injury-riddled career to date. He has finally taken some time to break into the North Melbourne defence and his breakout year really was in 2020 when he finally came out and was able to lock down a spot among the back six alongside Robbie Tarrant. It was 2022 where he probably shined the most in his career despite missing seven games. His defensive ability certainly was standing out and he was actually one of North Melbourne's three AFL Players Association MVP candidates. And had he played for a full season, he probably might have been in the All Australian in the All Australian selection. So he certainly isn't any slouch. At 25 years of age, the Bombers are paying a lot of money to get him across from the North Melbourne Football Club. He is primarily an elite intercept marker, and that is one of the reasons why the Bombers have brought him across to their side this year. Their stats, I've sort of gone over them in the last video where we spoke about Todd Goldstein, so I won't go into it in much detail. Please head on over to the Todd Goldstein video if you want to see that in greater depth. But what I will just simply point out today in this, one, in this video is the defensive rating of 16 and where the Bombers are falling short when it comes to their defensive integrity. Essendon ranked 15th for intercept differential. Now, what does that really mean? Put simply, it means that the Bombers weren't good at disrupting the opposition's ball movement and winning the ball back. You would have heard the commentary a lot that the Bombers, they can be fun and exciting to watch. However, they really struggle at defending the ground. This statistic proves it. Now, Ben Mackay, as I mentioned, is elite for intercept marks. He's averaging about 3.8 a game, and that has him ranked equal second in the competition. So this addition of Ben Mackay to the Essen Bombers, especially in place of Brandon Zerk Thatcher, who was very highly ranked, unfortunately, in a negative statistic of losing a lot of contested one-on-one -on -one marking contests. Ben Mackay should hopefully do a much better job than him when it comes to filling that role at the Bombers he can, despite being a big man at over 200 centimetres, he's shown that he's got decent agility at ground level and knows how to read the play. The Bombers also, as mentioned in the previous video, are dead last when it comes to stoppage clearances, averaging about 21 a game. So you can imagine that the ball is going to be in the back line a lot for the Essendon Bombers, especially when it comes to clearances, and stoppages around the ground, the Bombers struggle to maintain field position. And that is part of the reason why the Bombers implemented a back half strategy game during 2023. Now, for Essendon fans, they, they can certainly be very excited about the partnership that he will strike with Jordan Ridley, who just turned 25 the other day, another great key young defender in the AFL. And it's been proven that when you look at the best defensive structures across the league, having two gun tall key defenders goes a long way to shoring up your backline. And when we look at the top four defensive sides this year, they were rated as Melbourne first, St Kilda second, Collingwood third, and Brisbane fourth. And you look at each of these four teams, these top four defensive sides in the comp, Melbourne has got May and Lever, St Kilda has Wilkie and Howard, Collingwood has Moore and Murphy, and Brisbane has Harris and Payne. Essendon, with this duo of Ridley and Mackay, who are both 25 years old, 
is certainly a very exciting duo that we will hope to see for many years to come. Of course, the Brisbane backline is also quite exciting, having Payne be 24 years old, 27. Collingwood's also very exciting with Murphy at 24 and Moore at 27 as well. So there is clearly a lot of enthusiasm and excitement about the longevity of these sites. So if you're a Collingwood fan, you're a Brisbane fan, congratulations, you guys are still going to be really tough to beat in many years to come. So the prediction for this side... There is no doubt that Ben Mackay will be a direct replacement and upgrade to Brandon Zirk Thatcher, who went to Port Adelaide. And a quick little fun fact for those of you guys who don't know, this is the first time the Bombers were able to get something back from Port Adelaide in relation to a player. So Brandon Zirk Thatcher leaving and opening the door for Dersma to come across from Port Adelaide to Essendon is the first time that Essendon has ever actually gotten a player back from Port Adelaide. We are traditionally a hunting ground for Port Adelaide. It is high time we got someone back. There's no doubt Ben Mackay will take the opposition's number one key forward and will use his intercept marking ability to help Essendon win the ball back in defence where we like to initiate all of our scoring chains. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, is another episode here of The Watchlist where I've gone over Ben Mackay's move from North Melbourne to the Essendon Football Club. If you liked what you've seen here today, please drop us a like, and if you're new, a subscription will go a long way to helping our channel's growth. And remember guys, here at the Centre Bounce, we do the hard work so that you don't have to. Bye for now.